welcome back okay so today I'm super duper excited because I got to play around with a new palette and this palette is from Morphe it's their 39s palette I have been patiently waiting for this palette ever since it dropped and I ordered it as soon as it became available but it's one of their larger palettes so this is what she looks like yeah y'all you know what I swear I didn't eat fried chicken before I started doing my makeup today <laughs> it just has fingerprints all over it and it, they just look like that okay so don't judge me anyway it is one of their larger 39 pan palettes and it retails for $35 I believe I would try to have the specs rolling up or down somewhere but yes let me go ahead and show you this beauty she is just gorgeous as soon as I saw the pictures on Instagram for this palette I knew I had to have it I fell in love the purples the pinks the burgundy shades it was just like gotta have it so <laughs> yes I did grab this baby now as you can see this is a gorgeous color scheme let me go ahead and give you a closer look this is what she looks like up close now I will tell you just right off the bat this palette has about a bazillion different finishes in here these shadows have so many different textures feels just consistencies the way that they lay on the eyes there's so many different ones that if you don't play around with all of these shadows and get familiar and comfortable with this palette you might find yourself getting a little frustrated because you'll try to use a shimmer and it might not shim the way you want it to or you might you know just go into one of these other shadows thinking it's going to look a certain way and it doesn't and the reason being is because there are several different finishes in this palette. Let me go ahead and just read you a little bit off the website about what it says about this palette. Okay, so it says from posh mattes to radiant shimmers, this palette's got a stunning array of beyond creamy shade finishes that will give you all the feels. Matte, sheer shimmer, sheen, shimmer, glitter, and silk slip toppers okay so you get all of those finishes in this palette now in the center is where you will find the new formula which is the silk slip toppers I believe they called it and I really like those you guys those you can just kind of just like put a little on your finger and when you place these on top of a shimmer from this palette or on top of a certain eye look, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just like a really sheer topper that just adds a bit of pop to your look. Whatever your look is, it just adds a bit of pop to it. So I actually really like that. I was getting a little frustrated because some of the shimmers, like ones that I used on my cut crease today, like this purple, this pink is actually really pretty. Um, but just some of the shimmer shades that I used and I was just like, okay, this is really going to pop on my cut crease and they were a little bit more like a satin. Now, as you can see, like this pink and this purple really do have a nice shine to them. But this one here, the darker purple is kind of like more of a satin. So you do kind of have to play around with the shadows to get comfortable and get familiar with how they're going to apply on your lid. So I shouldn't say I was frustrated. Some of them, I was just a little surprised and, you know, had to kind of just get comfortable with it. But the mattes in this palette, uh, super pigmented i mean really nicely pigmented and they blend together very nicely as you can see i know i'm all over the place you guys as you can see though there are names for these shadows i did go ahead and tape mine to the top of the palette just so i don't lose it but there are names for these shadows but like i was saying the mattes very nicely pigmented blended in to each other very easily and smoothly I really really like the look that I did today 
I was just throwing colors on my eyes. I really didn't have a rhyme or reason for this look, but I did want to see just how pigmented these mattes are, and I found that they're really nicely pigmented, so I'm very happy about that, okay? I'm going to go ahead and bust out my girl Lily because she was giving me and DJ a hard time about this palette. She was like, mm-mm, I ain't buying that. And I'm happy to say <laughs> that I have no regrets in purchasing it because it's nicely pigmented. I actually like the fact that there are so many different finishes in this palette. At first I was like, why do I need so many finishes? It's just more work for me. But I like it because you can create a lot of different looks because of that. So I like this palette. I think it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful I've only used it for this video which I did create two looks for you guys hopefully you like them but my first impression on this palette is that I like it okay I have the 39a and I love that palette it's actually my favorite palette of course I have the James Charles palette too so I'm familiar with these larger 39 pan palettes from Morphe and I happen to like a big palette <laughs> I just do I like them big okay so anyway enough about this let me go ahead and just insert some swatches here and then we can move on to these two looks to see what I meant when I said that there were so many different finishes in this palette there are a lot but it's a gorgeous palette and so far I really like it so like I said I did create two looks for you guys today hopefully you'll like both of them let me know down below what you guys think about these looks what you think about this palette if you're getting it if you're not I'm curious to know I'm happy that I purchased it so if you'd like to see the looks that I created today stay tuned because they're coming up next 